my channel and today we're going to be going through how I cut my hair and bleach my hair. Basically my everyday style. I do this at least twice, once, twice a week. I should do it once every week because it starts growing out like this and I look like Slim Shady. But you know what? I get lazy and it's cold outside so I like the little bit of the thickness here. Now, um, I will be leaving everything I use in this video down below in the description, but let me start off with saying that I use the wall um, clippers. I bought this at Walmart for $19.95, um, so I use the wall clippers, and it comes with a whole bunch of attachments, but it did not come with a one and a half, and I like a one and a half cup, so I bought this... Um, this attachment of one and a half at Sally's and I'm also going to be using today the blonde brilliance I have the Bl blonde brilliance express nine level powder lightener I have the blonde brilliance 35 volume and the Br blonde brilliance 25 volume now I use the 35 with the powder to do the bleach and I use the 25 with the toner because I, I just feel like the 35 is too strong. I'm not a, an expert of any sort. Um, I'm not a stylist. I'm going off of other YouTubers that have the same haircut as me in style and they do the same thing. Um, but um, I do uh, tend to go back and forth with toners. I do use the bl Blonde um, Brilliance toners. Um, I either use platinum or um, champagne, which champagne is kind of like my favorite color. But um, I've been using platinum because everybody's been telling me, hey, won't you just try the platinum and uh, make it look like Amber Rose. Last time I tried it and my scalp tried, like was turning like pink, red. I don't know. It was just weird. But I have this a little bit left, so I'm just going to use it. I have like multiple of the champagne colors, but I just bought this one platinum and I used a little bit of it went before I went on vacation. So I'm just going to use it again for today's video so you guys could check it. And I also have my little mixer brush and my mixer bowl. I purchased all of this stuff at Sally's. I like the Blonde Brilliance um, brand because it smells really good. Like. It smells like fruit, like mango or citrus. Like, I, I don't know what, but it doesn't, it's not that harsh bleach smell. And it does not burn my scalp, which is a plus. I was using another, like, bond aging perfecting bleach, and it burned the hell out of my scalp. Like, bleach naturally is going to burn your scalp. But I don't know why this Blonde Brilliance, like, the brand does not burn my scalp at all like it just bleaches and that's it like no burning no hurting nothing like that so I absolutely love 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 this brand so I I usually do one part one part of the powder and one part of 35 so I'm using the 35 with this but before I go ahead and I bleach my hair I am going to cut it and I'm going to do it all at one, not one and a half. Now I'm doing, I do a one and a half for the winter time, which it is winter time out now. It's a little bit colder, colder, but when it hits summertime, I go down to a one, which is much shorter. So I like a one and a half just to give me, uh, it, it's, it looks short and low, but it's not too short as when I do it, the one for hot summer days when I'm really hot and like it's just too much hair for me and I hate it. So I'm going with the one and a half and we're going to just shave all this off. Now I always say go with the direction like you have you like if you see I brush my hair to the side here when it grows so I could get that like like some girls have it like style in a certain way. They have this haircut but they style it a certain way and I see them like they shave it that way so I was doing that at first but then it was cutting that way just trimming it low and I won't I just I just go you're, you're gonna watch me I just um like I said I'm gonna say it again I'm not a professional 
I just do my own hair. It's cheap for me. I'm not gonna, I don't feel the need to pay somebody to shave my head and bleach blonde it when I can do it myself. I just don't want to pay that much money to, for somebody else to do it. I'm like balling on a budget, alright? This is balling on a budget. So let's go ahead and cut this hair. Alright, we got that nice and cut. Make sure you got it all even, because I always tend to forget to shave this, but I went back and forth there. So now that we got that all shaved, I know there's hair everywhere, but that's how it goes. Alright, so, time to bleach. So we're going to go in with the powder, put a little bit in there, I just eyeball it, like I said, I am not a professional, I know you professionals out there are going to be coming for me in those comments, but oof girl, Jessica's balling on a budget, and uh, she's getting it done though. It just smells really good. It doesn't smell like bleach. And I ordered these, like, I ordered a whole bunch of them online for uh, Black Friday. They had these, um, the volumes, I think, for like three bucks. And then I paid, uh, I think I paid full price for this. It was 13 I think. But, all right. So we got this nice and mixed. Nice little mix here. And we're just going to put this all over the head. I like to get the edges. Make sure you get the edges behind your ear because you forget those and then you look retarded. Now, I usually leave this on for a while. Like 15, 20 minutes. And if it's not as blonde as I need it to be for that platinum, I do it again. So I do it at least maybe two times, especially when it's really black and I don't do it for two weeks. I should really do this every week. Like this hairdo and is like a lot to care for. It's like a hairstyle that you really have to care for. So I should do it once a week, but I don't cause I don't need to impress nobody. And it's like, I don't go nowhere really, so well, I'm looking good for. Alright, so while this is sitting, some girls put a shower cap on or like a plastic bag over their head. It, it gives it a little bit of heat, works a little bit faster and better. I'm a little bit lazy right now, so I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to let it sit. I don't know how long I'm going to let it sit for, but I'll let you guys know. I'm probably going to let it sit on my head for about 20 minutes. I'm going to see how that goes. So I'm going to let this sit, and then I'm going to rinse it off, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I waited about 20 minutes and I washed it out with this shampoo. Now, when you're bleaching your hair, you want to use um, shampoo that doesn't have sulfate in it. Don't quote me on that. But this is a, a shampoo, it's called Shimmer Lights. And it's for blonde and silver um, hair, like if you're highlighting. Refreshes blonde, highlighted, and silver hair and it brightens the color. 
So this is um, Shimmer Light uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. It's a purple face um, shampoo and conditioner. Tones down the bareness, renews, refresh, removes dullness. Um, and I think it does not have sulfate in it, what regular shampoos have, which turn, I think, your hair yellow, which it does look kind of yellow now, but it doesn't look as intense yellow as it would have looked. So, now that I got that all on, um, I did miss a spot here. You see right there, I missed a spot. This is why we got to get all spots. I don't know if I missed any other spots, but it's Christmas week, and it's not like I'm going to see anybody in particular or do anything like that so these spots really don't bother me and I would usually bleach it one more time to get it a little bit lighter than this um I feel like I should bleach it one more time if I want to get that platinum white looking color Ugh, what to do what to do what to do let me do it right for you guys so you guys don't be like uh you you didn't do it right. I'm sorry. This hair is making me all itchy. Alright. So I got my bowl and we're going to bleach it one more time for you guys so you can see the full effect. I'm, I'm going to stop being lazy so you guys can see because I'm not going to put the platinum toner in and then you guys are like, oh, that does not look platinum, girl. That looks champagne. So I'm going to go ahead again and I'm going to bleach it. I know some girls on YouTube, I see them bleach their hair three times to get that look. I don't want to bleach it three times. Two is top. is too many for me. So we're going to keep it at two. So this time, instead of 20 minutes, I'll probably keep it on for 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'll wash it out with my shampoo and conditioner there. And now we're just doing this to get it more bleach. The lighter I get my hair because my roots were black, the lighter I get it by bleaching it first, the better the platinum is going to look when I tone it. You know what I mean? Y'all girls out there that do this every day and y'all professionals, you guys know what I mean. You either leave it longer or you do it more than once. So I am going to do this one more time and I'm going to keep it in my head for about 15 minutes. Alright, so I stirred all that up. Got that there. Let me cover up these spots that I missed. Right there, and I'm going to cover the whole head, and I'm going to keep this on about 15 minutes. The first time I did it, I kept it on for 20, so we're going to keep it on for 15, get it a little bit more lighter, so when I put that toner on, it'll look way much better, and you guys would be able to see the color. I would usually leave it like this and just put the champagne toner in, but since I'm going for that platinum look, we got to bleach it a little bit more lighter, because I did have it... I, grow, I grew it out too long. Two weeks is way too long. I shouldn't wait that long. I, I already admit to that. So, um, since I grew it too long, we got to get those, those, you know, we got to get that nice color out. Right now, it looks like a little bit of yellow brown in the middle of my head. I don't know if you guys can see, but we're going to fix that. All right, now that I finally got this all over the head again, we're going to give it about 15 minutes, and then I'm going to go wash it out with my Shimmer Lights shampoo and conditioner, and I'll be right back for you guys so we can tone it and then wash it again, and then you can see my beautiful look at the end. All right, be right back. All right, so I left that on. Oh, got water on my ear. See how it looks a little bit more. Oops. I left it on for about 10 minutes. I didn't leave it on for the 15. I'm just, I, I can't get over the laziness. <laughs> so we got that. It looks much 
better than the first time because it was like had like a little brownish yellowish patch right here now I see more bleach blonde whitish so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tone it so right here I have the blonde blur brilliance platinum and it's alumin uh, aluminum ammonia free toner and they usually say put one part toner and then one part um, your volume and I'm using the 25 develop volume uh, 25 volume developer not the 35 25 I see some girls use 15 but I can't find 15 anywhere and I ordered it online too and I can't find it online so 25 is the lowest I found so we're gonna go with the 25 and I think I'm gonna use the rest of this bottle that's here so I'm just gonna put it all on there I'm just going to use it all. I don't know how I feel about looking platinum, all white, but people keep on telling me to do it, to try it, so I'm going to try it. I'm really a champagne kind of girl, champagne. Alright, so we used all of this. And have I told you that this, I swear, all their products, I feel like it smells like a mango or orange. Definitely smells orangey. And we're going in with 25. So we're putting the 25 in there. Now, since we want this platinum, you want to leave this as long as possible. So I think I'm going to leave it for about 20 to 25 minutes. Got that nice consistency right there. Make sure you get those edges. You don't want to look golden. All right, now that we got this nicely coated all over the head, like I said, the longer you keep it, the better it is. So I'm gonna keep this on for about 20 to 25 minutes. Hopefully we get that platinum look because the last time I tried this before I went on vacation, it didn't work out too well. But like I said, I'm not a professional, so however it comes out, I'm happy with, honestly, because it doesn't really bother me that much. But let's see if we can get it right this time, you know, just for the sake of this video. All right, let me leave it alone. I'm going to leave it on for about 20 to 25 minutes, and I'll be right back to show you guys the final look. All right, you guys, I'm back. So this is the finished look. Uh, this is the finished look. And I just had to do my makeup because I feel like with this look, you just got to look good and you got to slay the look. You can't just look plain. So I did the toner, but every time I do this platinum toner, like I did it last time, the one time I did it before, I like turned like kind of pink red all around here. And then um, 
It just didn't, it doesn't look platinum to me. And then today I did the same thing and look, it turned like pink red around the edges here. And then I washed it off with that purple shampoo. And to me, honestly, right now it just looks gray or gray or like a lavender color. But I don't care. It doesn't look perfect, but it looks good to me. It looked great to me and I like how it looks. And you know what? I don't, I'm not really picky when it comes to this look as long as it's like kind of like some kind of blonde look and not the black because I don't like how the black looks like this but I feel like it came out perfect this is the finished look if you like this video you guys please hit that like button and please subscribe to my page if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you think below. I'm kind of afraid of what you guys think because I know I did it wrong and I know there's going to be some people down there getting me in the comments. But, you know, like I said, I'm not a professional. Um, this isn't my first time doing it, but every time I do it, it's I do it a different way. And um, this is it. And this is what I do all the time, you guys. This, this hairdo has a lot of upkeep like you have to do it all the time bleach it cut it like there's a lot of work that goes into this hairdo and I don't mind it cuz you know you, you gotta do it for the look girl you gotta do it for the look and I mm, I feel bougie everybody be telling me oh you look like Amber Rose I'm like oh no I don't do I Ooh, yes anyways this is the finished look. Let me know what you guys think. And that's it for today's video. I did a shave, bleach, and tone. And I will leave all the products that I used today in this video and the description down below if you'd like to know what products I use, the shaver, the bleach, the toner, everything that I use in this video today will be down in the description below. Again, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my page if you haven't already. And as always, love you guys.